What's the most bizarre historical fact you know? Albert Einstein was offered the presidency of Israel on the 17th of November, 1952, following the death of Israel's first president, Haim Wiseman. He declined, saying he lacked the natural aptitude and the experience to deal properly with people to do the job. Vikings went as far as modern-day Morocco to fight as mercenaries. The Byzantine emperor had his Varangian guard, personal bodyguard, composed mainly of Norsemen. When FDR died in office the Manhattan Project, atomic bomb, was so secret that his vice president didn't even know about it. And upon taking oath Truman had to be briefed on the existence of the bomb. So this is actually something major we have to learn for A level history. The fact that Roosevelt only trusted people who created the bomb with the information that it existed. Emphasized how powerful the bomb was. However if you want a bizarre fact. Then when the Americans created their most powerful explosion, Castle Bravo, the Russians literally laughed and told them they can do better and created something over three times as powerful, Tsar Bomber. Biggest FCKU in history imp. During the Apollo 8 flight. Astronaut Commander Frank Borman came down with a stomach bug and ended up vomiting and shitting himself at the same time. There was barf and diarrhea floating around the space capsule. And the other astronauts had to put on gas masks to block the stench while they cleaned it up. Nero would make people sit around listening to him badly play the harp for so long that some of the men faked death to get out of it. Anyways. Here's Wonderwall. Nero got a lot of revisionist slander after he died. Maybe he was bad at music. But really hard to know because most people hated him for all the other shit he did. He was basically trying to live a rockstar life of drinking parties and music which was unbecoming of the emperor. I don't fault the lad for trying to play music. And must have been real hard to get honest critics. All that aside he is accounted to have done so much bad shit there's no version where he isn't an asshole. Ancient Minoans had plumbing. Heated floors and running water 3000 years before the Romans figured it out. Woolly mammoths and ancient Egypt coexisted. And during the Hellenic era. Lions could have been found in Greece. George Washington spent roughly 15% of his money on liquor. Maybe due to the fact he didn't know dinosaurs existed. There was a point of time where there were only two cars in all of Ohio and they managed to crash into one another. Important edit. I would like to add that I have just now realized that this is much more general than informative to those who want to know more about the topic. And I would like to apologize for spreading potentially false information. Please refer to the comments below. As others have provided sources that are more specific on the matter and explain it with more depth and detail. In 1767, when British Captain Samuel Wallace journeyed to Tahiti to trade, his crew found that the natives would exchange iron for sex. As a result, the crew began prying iron nails and fittings from anything they could find. To the point Scott had to end the trip early because the crew had begun to remove the nails from the deck boards and beams. Literally taking the ship apart in harbor. The first US conscript of World War 1 was the father of the first US conscript of World War 2. Conscripts were chosen at random for both wars. The man who survived both of the atomic bomb attacks on Japan. Tsutomu Yamaguchi was on a business trip in Hiroshima on the 6th of August 1945 when the first bomb was dropped. Being no more than 2 miles away from ground zero. He suffered multiple injuries. But survived. He eventually managed to leave the city by train to return to his home in Nagasaki. On the 9th of August, Yamaguchi showed up to work and was telling his bosses about his ordeal in Hiroshima when the second bomb was dropped. Although he was a similar distance away from the second blast as he was from the first, Yamaguchi miraculously survived again. When X-rays were first discovered in the 1800s, people found that if you held an X-ray tube up to your eye, you'd see something akin to fireworks. This is a result of the X-rays hitting the molecules in your eye, then exciting the electrons to a higher energy level. When the electrons fell back to their base state, energy would be released in the form of heat and visible light. The light being emitted was what people saw. 
they had no idea that radiation was harmful. Thus, X-ray tubes became commonplace at parties of rich people. Edit. Wow this blew up. 50% of my calm on a fun fact. Thanks so much for the support. Happy I brightened your day. Edit 2. Thanks kind strangers for the awards. Martin Luther hallucinated demons in the bathroom all the time. Good god. For a second I was thinking of Martin Luther King. I am so damn stupid. It was once common to sell you pee to tanners. They used it to soften hides to make clothing. George Washington never knew dinosaurs existed. Maybe due to the fact he spent roughly 15% of his money on liquor. One of my favorite ones is the fact that Kim Jong-il was a big movie buff and at some point he was just fed up with shitty North Korean films so he just ordered this director from South Korea to be kidnapped so they could have cooler films. Bodies of victims who had died from plague were used as biological weapons during the Middle Ages. During the Siege of Kaffa. Bodies of plague victims were catapulted over the city walls to infect the inhabitants by the invading Mongol army. Oh shit. That once again shows the creativity of humans and killing other humans. Gillis D. Race. Joan of Arc's right hand man and hero of the Hundred Years War was executed and had his reputation ruined when it came out that he had been raping and murdering hundreds of children. But to this day almost no one knows that he was more than likely innocent. And was even retried and cleared of wrongdoing in France in 1992. In the 90s following the fall of the Soviet Union. They were low on cash. Therefore Pepsi accepted 17 submarines. A frigate. Cruiser and destroyer as payment for their products. Giving Pepsi Company. One of the largest navies in the world at the time. I still say this should have been the Harrier jet guy's defense. Of course I expected PepsiCo to give me a jet they own a navy once. The Anglo-Zanzibar War is the shortest military conflict in history. Lasting 38-45 minutes. I learned this recently from a TV show that had nothing to do with history. The opposite of that fact would be the time England went to war with the islands of Scilly. Forgot. Rediscovered the official declaration of war about 335 years later. Then promptly declared peace to the confusion of everyone. It's the longest war with no shots fired. In the 13th century. Pope Gregory IX basically declared war on the cats of the world. A cat supposedly survived the sinking of the Bismarck and went on to survive two more sinkings. Very oversimplified. For more info look up Unsinkable Sam. The cat definitely sunk those ships. Surgery with 300% mortality rate. While amputating the patient's leg at the hip. Liston accidentally sliced through the fingers of one of his assistants. That would have been bad enough. But it proved disastrous when the patient's stump turned gangrenous. The sore must have been contaminated. Because the assistant became ill and infected. 2. The procedure was being observed by an elderly doctor in a dress coat with long tails. In the confusion. Liston cut through the man's coat. He wasn't cut. But because blood was spurting around. The old gentleman didn't know that. Feeling the tug. And seeing himself covered in blood. The man collapsed on the floor. Had a heart attack. And died. Within a few days. Both the patient and the assistant died. That a Roman emperor, Caligula, declared war on the sea, or more on their god Neptune, is kinda wired. Especially without the historical context. Just imagine a Roman legion standing at the coast. Stabbing water with their lances and collecting seashells as war trophies. Years later the legionnaires probably told their children they fought a god to sound like the most epic dads ever. Gary Newman is two weeks older than Gary Oldman. One that might shock any Brits. Gary Oldman's sister is also an actress. Best known for her role as Mo on EastEnders. Fidel Castro loves milk and other dairy products so much he got into an argument with a French ambassador over who had better cheese. Imagine if the Dominican Republic had ever started flexing at him about their tobacco quality. Also. Pretty bold to keep a beard like that as a dairy aficionado. 
The most expensive opera costume of all time was worn by Adelina Patti at Covent Garden in 1895. It was worth you a cute 15 million. The youngest person to ever give birth was a 5-year-old girl. Her name is Lina Marcella Medina de Urado and she is still alive today. Her son died in his 40s. So she actually outlived the child she gave birth to. To make matters worse. Her father is suspected to have fathered the child. That was a confusing and creepy sentence to write. A survivor of the Titanic managed to survive 5 hours in the freezing water only to meet his demise later in life by drowning in a shallow pond. A Daryl, a drug commonly given to children for adult, was used primarily by the Nazis to make more powerful fighters. Edit. Because so many people seem so interested I highly recommend a book called Blitzed by Norman Ola. Amphetamines are still routinely prescribed for long haul missions in the Air Force. They use modafinil currently. And the US is not the only country to prescribe amphetamines to their military members. And X200B. Also. Phenisa tank crews referred to amphetamine tablets as Panzerschaklade, tank chocolate. Hitler had sexual feelings for his niece. Who later killed herself as he became too possessive. And to think. He seemed like such a good guy. During World War 1. A German armed merchant cruiser called SMS Cap Trafalgar disguised herself as a British converted ocean liner. RMS Carmania. To infiltrate and sink British supply convoys. But not long after leaving port she ran into the actual RMS Carmania. Who sunk her after a battle lasting several hours. Though Carmania was only barely still afloat herself. There's also accounts that state Carmania was coincidentally disguised as Cap Trafalgar at the same time. But that's unsubstantiated and likely made up to make the story even more bizarre. When looking at skeletal remains of ancient Jews. They found that the average height for a male was between 5 feet 3-5 feet 5. So Jesus was historically a lot shorter than today's average. Most people were shorter for most of history. Poor nutrition does that. Sex workers used to hide evidence of STDs by wearing a merkin. Which is basically a wig for the lady parts. It also hid the fact that they shaved to get rid of pubic lice. Sometimes they were just used for decoration though. So your mom actually isn't lying when she says that. There are stone penises carved into the roads of Pompeii directing people to brothels. 2000 years later those dicks still look marvelous. On the 7th of December, 1941 the old destroyer USS Ward, under the command of William Outerbridge, fired America's first shot of World War II when it sank a Japanese midget submarine attempting to sneak into Pearl Harbor. Exactly three years later, on the 7th of December, 1944, the Ward was fatally damaged by a kamikaze and had to be abandoned. A nearby destroyer, the USS O'Brien moved in to rescue survivors and to scuttle the ward. The man commanding the Obran? William Outerbridge. In England during World War II, there were certain regiments that were tasked with making fake airplanes, out of wood, and painting them to look like the real thing. This was to confuse the Luftwaffe as to where real airfields were and so they would bomb the wrong place. One of many stories from my granddad and great uncle. The fax machine was invented before the telephone. Matches were invented after the lighter. The majority of deaths during the Vietnam War were civilians killed by America. Some people ask me how I can kill women and children. I just say it's easy. You just don't lead them as much. Not sure what movie I've heard this from. Empress Josephine used to perform a sexual act known as a zigzag on Napoleon. And historians aren't quite sure exactly what was it was that she did to him. I really 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 want a zig -a, a That a crocodile was taken from a zoo in East Germany by the Soviets as a prize. In 1991 when Yeltsin took a tank division to fire at the Russian White House the crocodile started to whimper because he had some sort of animal PTSD. He died recently. That crocodile managed to outlive two brutal regimes. Michael Jackson once had several business associates come to visit him for a meeting. While waiting in his lobby, 
they sat down near a life-size wax figure of him. After an hour or so of waiting, the statue jumped at them, freaking them out. Michael Jackson had pretended to be a statue of himself for over an hour to scare these guys waiting in his lobby. In the year 892, Sigurd the Mighty of Orkney was feeling pretty proud of himself after killing his foe. Meal Brigd. So proud. In fact, that he cut off Brigd's head and strapped it to his horse's saddle. Unfortunately for Sigurd, he sat in such a way that caused Brigd's teeth to rub against his legs and create an open wound. The wound became infected and Sigurd eventually died as a result. Coffee was popularized in the Ottoman Empire and for a long time was banned in Europe as a satanic drink. That is. Until Pope Clement VIE drank a cup. Liked it. And reportedly said this Satan's drink is so delicious that it would be a pity to let the infidels have exclusive use of it. Double quote. Mary Queen of Scots had a croquet mallet fashioned from a petrified narwhal horn. She never lost a game using it. Krakatoa. When it erupted. Caused the loudest recorded noise known to man. Everyone within a certain radius died or got permanent ear damage. Krakatoa also didn't just erupt. It fucking imploded. Taking the island it rested on out with it. Ireland is the only country to have a smaller population now than it did in the 1840s. In March 1941. A man from a small town of Perisin. Serbia. At that time. A part of Yugoslavia, bragged about how he sent a telegram to Hitler telling him to keep his hands away from Serbia Yugoslavia unless he wants to get his ass kicked. Of course. Nobody believed him. Then. Less than a month later. Nisi Germany invades Yugoslavia. They enter Paris and Find that man and execute him in public. It turns out he was not lying. One pope dug up the previous pope's corpse and put it on trial for corruption. Found it guilty. And threw three of his finger bones into a river. Napoleon had a marshal named Bernadotte. Napoleon had a relationship with Bernadette's wife before they married. Napoleon likes to remind him that he had an LSX with his wife before they married just to piss him off. Bernadotte would later quit and become the king of Sweden and fight against Napoleon. Learned this from my Napoleon history professor in college. Towards the end of World War II when Germany was falling apart they had POWs farming turnips which were used to create a biofuel to run trucks on. In 2020. The president of the United States of America declared the best way to deal with a new virus was to inject or ingest bleach disinfectants and seemed irate that due to the testing for said virus. The figures showed it was a problem so they should stop testing so it was no longer a problem. Edison had an elephant put to death using AC, alternating current, publicly as a safety demonstration to prove that his method DC, direct current, was safer to use. Needless to say he had quite an intense rivalry with Tesla. Mexicans were hanged just as much as blacks in the southern west of the US. Louis of son. The Great Dauphin. Had just four great grandparents. Louis Ziv and his wife had the same four grandparents. Making them genetically half brothers. A group of samurai were traveling from Japan to France in the 1860s on some diplomatic mission. And they stopped in Egypt to have their picture taken with the Sphinx. The brightest government thought that Agatha Christie was a mole. She had named a character Colonel Bletchley. At a time when the existence location of Bletchley Park, hike of World War II codebreakers, was a secret. It turned out she had been stuck on an unmoving train at Bletchley Park and had named the unlikable character in revenge. And it had nothing to do with the work being undertaken there. Thank you. No such thing as a fish. My most repeated fact. Right here. Isaac Newton led two investigations into Britain's most successful forger in his capacity as head of the Royal Mint. That forger's first job in London was making big clocks with dildos on them. JFK was on meth during his presidency and did naked cartwheels down a hotel hallway before being sedated by a psychiatrist.